up, everyone? <clears throat> Gonna do a little bit of cleaning my wheels on my track. Let me put you down on my fancy schmancy tripod here. What's up, guys? All right. My wheels are bad. Whew. I don't have a cassette tool. I wish I did. Oh, that's bad. Pretty certain that this should just come right out. There. Just gotta be a little bit stern with it. I think the noise might be coming from my jockey wheels. Uh. Hmm. That squeaking. It's either coming from that or it's coming from my wheel. Boy, this bike needs a lot of work. So I guess what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to clean my drivetrain up a little bit and get that taken care of. Here I am out here in my good pants. Hmm. This old bike has seen better days, I know that. On a positive note, it's almost spring. Almost. Not much longer, guys. I really need to adjust my gears, index them, all that kind of stuff. 
<sighs> you know, some people don't realize that uh, when you ride bicycles and you really ride, you know, you're not just someone who rides around your neighborhood with your kids, but you really go out and you ride your bikes. You really got to do a lot of maintenance. You got to take care of your bike like you would your car or else you're gonna you're not gonna have a good a well running bike like I'm experiencing so um, with us though we've been so tight on money for so long it's just been so hard to to even have a bike much less try to take care of it properly uh, that that's just the truth of the matter we are we are just we're a normal struggling American family <laughs> I've already sprayed this down, but I'll do it again. Oh man, I need a shoestring. The old shoestring trick. You know, this process takes a minute, but it's worth it. You can see where it's clean. Still got to get in a couple of them. I need a new hole and a new nozzle. I'm not actually really squeezing any oil in there. I'm just barely tipping it up and you can see just a drop come out. You don't want to oversaturate. Um, but what I'm going to do tonight is kind of let all this sit instead of just wiping it off. I'm going to let it sit and kind of soak in. Since this bike is so worn out and, you know, uh, I just kind of give it a chance to really penetrate and get off in there. And then tomorrow, before I go for my ride, I'm going to wipe everything down and uh, get the wheel back on I may put the wheel back on anyway so uh, yeah that's kind of what I'm doing here I got it at least somewhat clean so 
the way you gotta do them. And I'm going to say that uh, if I can find what these are, give me a second. I bought these tires um, from my local bike shop to replace the ones that I swear were original tires from 2010. Uh, I got these in like December of... 2017 yeah I got these in December 2017 they are the whatever that is uh, they're a specialized flank Specialized flank jacket puncture protection. Uh, they are 38 C's, uh, so they're they're a little wider than what most roadies are gonna ride. But that's what I like. I like fatter tire. But these tires have been great. I mean, really, really good. Um, of course, you know I ride pretty good bit, so. Um, I don't think I've had a flat yet, knock on wood, but they have been really good tires. Uh, I recommend them. They were $30 a piece, which to me is kind of pricey, but they've been really good. So, Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put my wheel back on. I'm not going to film it because for some reason I always have a problem getting the wheel back in with ease. I don't want to I don't want you to see me struggle. I want to look very professional. So I'm going to cut this here. Well, actually I wish I would have videoed me putting the wheel back on cuz I actually did it with ease. Very good. Good job, buddy. All right. Of course that's broke off. That's where my chain slipped off one day. That's kind of what you're hearing up there. Alright. Overall I think it was a success. I didn't take my wheel apart or anything because I just didn't want to mess with it. I really don't know if it's anything to do with the wheel. The wheel's new. I got it in 2017 as well. Uh, I got it December 2017 or January 2018. So it's a new wheel. So, But right now everything looks shiny and pretty. So I'm going to let it sit. I'll rehook my brakes up tomorrow before I go for a ride. Not going to mess with it. So... Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, kind of a routine maintenance kind of video. I don't do them very often. Um, it's kind of hard for me to work on my bikes at all because of my back. Uh, even something like this, I have to sit down or it uh, really, really hurts. <laughs> it's almost not possible. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the little video and look forward to many more. I thank you for watching my channel. Uh, please watch, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. I don't get paid for it. Um, and I know I was probably shooting into the light. So, yeah, I don't get paid for anything. No advertisements, no monetization, no nothing that I'm aware of. I do it all because I enjoy it. 
and I hope you guys enjoy the content and I'm trying to really mix things up and bring really different parts of myself to my channel from photography to art uh, little movie reviews uh, still doing my bike videos and stuff and I hope a couple other different things to come so all right we'll see you guys later and don't forget get up get out get red do it to it even while doing some routine bike maintenance we'll see you